John the Baptist has spent his entire life preparing the way for the coming of the Messiah, called by God from birth to be the last and final and greatest of all the prophets sent to the people of Israel, announcing the good news of salvation. The time is at hand. And we know the message of John, the message of our Advent season, to turn away from our sins, to be faithful to the gospel of Jesus Christ, to grow more deeply every day in perfect holiness and charity, to prepare our hearts so that God who has already come into the world in Jesus Christ and lives among us might be able to take root more deeply in our hearts and that we might be prepared for the day when he does return in glory, a return that should never fill us with anxiety or fear, but one we look to with great expectation, great hopefulness. The challenge, of course, is to hear that message and to respond to that call of John with faithful hearts. It's surprising that we hear in the gospel today that even John isn't quite sure if Jesus is the one. He sends some of his disciples to ask the Lord in person, are you the one who is to come or should we look for another? It isn't always easy to recognize the presence of God at work in our lives, especially in times of suffering, in the face of difficulty. We all have doubts. We can get caught up in the things of the world and be very forgetful about God. That was the downfall of the people of Israel. And we hear the call of God to them today through the prophet Isaiah, turn to me and be safe, he reminds the people. All you ends of the earth, for I am God, and there is no other. Only in the Lord will we find everything that our hearts desire. That's the call to faith in God the call to love God above all things. It sounds good, it seems simple, but we know in practice, in reality, it's anything but easy. But that's the call to faith. Today we honor one of the great doctors of the church, a great mystical father, St. John of the Cross, who worked hand in hand with St. Teresa of Avila at a time when people had lost their way. They both, through prayer, through penance, through fasting, helped to renew the church, to call people, especially their religious community, the Carmelites, to be reformed, to grow more deeply in their call to serve God and others. And we know at the heart of the message of St. John of the Cross is the cross of Jesus. If we hope to gain salvation, we need to lose ourselves. It's as simple as that. To think less and less of ourselves, our own needs, our desires, to lose ourselves so that we can gain life in Christ. That we might be able through our own prayers, our fasting, our works of mercy, find our hearts more open to recognize the presence of God, to receive the Lord, to grow more deeply in our call to service. That's the meaning of the cross. Every day, that call to lay down our lives like Jesus did for our salvation, for the good of others, in service to the church, St. John of the Cross faced tremendous suffering in his life. He was rejected by his own community, imprisoned. One of the great uh, classics is the dark night of the soul. And it reminds us that that struggle is ongoing between goodness and, and sin. 
between darkness and light, not only in the world in which we live, but in every human heart. And we can experience that dark night of the soul, the absence of God, the doubts that faith brings to us at times, our uncertainty. But as St. John reminds us, we look to the cross of Jesus and we find the consolation and the strength in knowing that sin and death have been conquered once and for all. It has no more power over us. The struggle continues, but the battle is done. Those who hold fast to Jesus Christ in faith will be given every strength, every grace, every power that we need. It's the life of the Holy Spirit at work in us through baptism and faith. And so we look to John of the Cross as a model of holiness and spiritual growth in these final days of Advent, that we might hear that call of John more deeply, to repent, to turn away from our sins, to look beyond our struggles and hold fast to the truth of the gospel, that God so loved the world he sent us his son Jesus Christ, and all who look to him and believe in him, all who hold fast to the Lord, will gain eternal salvation.